Thank you. We're gonna have any time. Oh, well, plenty of time. So, um, what I want to do today for this problem, it says four sine of x, uh, cosine of x. So it's got four. So on this problem, we need to be able to solve for it, right? It says find the values. And I'm having a difficulty with this because before what we've done is we've been able to transform things, right? We've said, oh, you know, we use Pythagorean identity or something like that. Well, here I, I, you know, if it equaled, you know, zero, and I could factor it or something, I could use a zero product property. But I can't even do that for this problem. I'm really kind of getting to some difficulties. Well, I look, take a look at the formulas for double angles. When you take a look at the formulas for double angles, you do see that sine of 2u equals 2 sine sine of u cosine of u, right? So could I maybe rewrite this problem by using that formula? Yes. And yeah, exactly. You could say 2 times 2 sine of x cosine of x equals 1, right? Well, now what does 2 sine of an angle times cosine of an angle that is your double angle formula. So now I can rewrite that as 2 sine of 2x. So I'm using x in this problem. Equals 1. Now why, why is that important? Why is that helpful for me? Well, remember, all I did was I just took what the formulas. I said, how can I manipulate this and use these formulas to help me out? Well, now, now, yep, now I can solve for my 2x, right? This is actually in there. So I divide by 2. So I have sine of 2x equals 1 half. So remember now when we're doing this, we don't do anything with that 2x until the end. Now we need to find the value of sine of 1 half. So I take a look and I think, all right, when is sine equal to 1 half? So I can say 2x equals pi over 6 and 2x equals 5 pi over 6. One plus. All right? Those are two and a half on a unit circle. That's what sine equals pi at one half. Um, the next thing is, without working at my constraints right now, we would always do plus two pi n, right? And then plus two pi n. Forget about my constraints right now, but we understand that. Remember we talked about cyclical and it's going to keep on going on. Well, remember now we need to find our value of x. So if I actually divide by two. What I'm going to get is now x equals pi over 12 and um, pi over 12 plus pi n. And this equals x equals 5 pi over 12 plus pi n. Because if you just do pi over 6 divided by 2. divided by 2 to get rid of them, you multiply it by the reciprocal, because that cancels out to 1. So, um, so now when I take a look at this, and if I was just going to add uh, pi, which would be 12 over 12, I get my final answers are x equals pi over 12, comma, 13 pi over 12. Is that still within the constraint of 0 and 2 pi? Yes, both those angles are. And then if I look over here and I add um, 12 over 12, we'll get 17 pi over 12, which actually works as well. So x equals 5 pi over 12. And if I add another pi over 12, I get 17 pi over 12. How did you get the 13 pi over 12? I added pi. I can't add more than pi because then it wouldn't be within the constraints of 0 and 2 pi. Yes? Like, how does adding pi to um, pi over 12 give you 13 pi over 12? Oh, so, remember, if you add pi over 12, right, plus pi over 1, right, they have to have the same denominator, right? So multiply by 12 over 12. So now I really have pi over 12 plus 12 pi over 
12 equals 13 pi or 12. Okay. Yes? What happened to the cosine? Up here? It got eliminated when I used this formula. Two, two sine of an angle times cosine of an angle equals sine of two uh, double that angle. So I used that. I constricted this to use that formula. So I used the formulas to help it manipulate it. Okay? And the main important thing, guys, is to remember you can use, remember your double, um, your repetition, but since I was using the double angle, since I divided by two, and since both of these angles fit within my constraints, it works. When did you get rid of the cosine? The reverse cosine? Guys, this is your formula for the double angles. The formula is right here. Sine of double angle equals two sine of u times cosine of u. I'm given this, I wrote it like this, right? No, the problem, the, the question asked is solved. Number 11. And that's it.